The story of a young sports star who has a point to make, and she makes it again and again and again. Here's Steve Hartman with Assignment America. People always ask me, what makes a good story? A dog that goes to school is a good story. It's not this story, but it would be a good one. Another good one is any story that renews your faith in human kindness. And that story did just board the bus. It takes place here in DeSmet, South Dakota, and it began nearly two years ago with a little bump on Kylie Pastion's right leg. That bump turned out to be bone cancer. There were weeks of chemotherapy, multiple surgeries, and worst of all... I guess not being at school very much. I'm sorry, I must have misunderstood you. I thought you said you missed going to school. I miss going to school. Not so much the work, of course, as the friends and especially the basketball. Right here, girls. This fifth grader loved basketball. Unfortunately, her leg became so fragile, doctors wouldn't allow her any physical contact. All she could do was keep the stats and yell. Yeah, she would she really cheer. She would? You mm-hmm. could just see her over the sidelines, her smiling wow. from ear to ear. I don't know, it just made me feel better. I still felt like I was part of it. A part of it, but for her friends and coaches, not part enough. They still wanted her to play. Yet outside of changing the very rules of the game, there was just no way to guarantee Kylie's safety, which is why they changed the very rules of the game. Not long ago, the kids and coaches asked for and got the Kylie rule, which basically says that when there's a foul, anyone recovering from bone cancer is allowed to check into the game to shoot her team's free throws. What do you think of the new rule? I think it's really nice. There wasn't anybody that said, I want to shoot my own free throws? No. When I was in two falls, I made eight in a row once. Eight free throws in a row? Yeah. Yeah! It's just one small gesture for one little girl in one tiny town. And yet, it makes you rethink what kids' athletics is all about. I think it brought us closer to, like, we're all, like, sisters and we're, like, like a big family. So who won the game? Kylie's team did, before it ever started. And finally, one other victory to report. As of now, Kylie is cancer-free. And if all goes well, may be back on the court full-time next season. I'm so glad you told us that because I was going to ask you that very question. Meanwhile, Kylie wants the NBA to adopt. She doesn't understand why all people in her situation shouldn't be allowed to shoot free throws, including the NBA. All right. Well, I think that's a great idea, and that was a great story.